The Brazilian Colors Project started in 2018 with the purpose of disseminating and sharing the beauty of ferruginous soils and rocks of the southeastern region of Brazil, as well as building a collection library of those soils and rocks for the region. This was made possible through the development of research and alternative studies to repurpose samples of soils and rocks obtained through my professional work in geology, geotechnics, and environmental geology. Pigments Reveal International Symposium is a unique opportunity for me to achieve my mission, to seek a language through which nature can voice its need for protection and conservation. I am Zeiji Furtado, a civil engineer and master in water resources and environmental technologies. I work in the area of geosciences, geological, geotechnical engineering, and environmental hydrogeology, especially in the investigation of potentially contaminated areas. My company is called Oeste Engenharia and is located in the west region of the state of São Paulo in southeast Brazil. In this symposium, I present 1. The geology and tropical colors of the rocks and subsoils of the southeastern region of my country, Brazil, a continental country located in South America. 2. The sampling methodology to collect earth pigments. And 3. The results of the applied studies that I have been developing in the production of geopaints, pastel chalk, dyeing of natural fibers, and others. The Brazilian surface is basically formed of three geological structures, the crystalline shields, the sedimentary basins, and the volcanic terrains. In my region, the geological structures present our sedimentary basins and volcanic terrain. The sedimentary basins are made up of thick layers of sedimentary rocks, such as clay, siltstones, and sandstones, with earthy tones predominating, and ochre, yellow, brown, gray, greenish, and dark and light red, as a result of the intense deposition of sediments of marine, glacial, and continental origin in the lower parts of the geographical relief. On the other hand, the volcanic terrain are areas that suffer intense action from volcanic spills during their formation. This process gave rise to the formation called Serra Geral, consisting of magmatic rocks such as basalt. The distribution of soil types throughout the Brazilian territory is quite diversified and reflects the variability of its formation factors such as the climate, the source material, the relief, the organisms, and the weather. According to the Brazilian soil classification system, the different soil types in Brazil can be viewed on the soil type map. Present in my region are the argosols, which have a higher clay content in the subsurface layers compared to the superficial ones. Its color can vary from grayish to reddish, with yellow and red tones being the most common. And the oxysols. These types of soils have undergone several transformations in their formation process. Their colors vary from reddish to yellowish. They have a clayey texture and can have a grainy structure. Oxysols are the most representative soils in Brazil, occupying approximately 39% of the total area of the country and being distributed practically throughout the national territory. In the regional geological section, A-B, it is possible to view the layers of volcanic rocks of the Serra Geral Formation. under sedimentary rocks, also called argillites, and on top of the residual soil, known as sandy clay and lateritic soils. In this slide, it is possible to see the samples of local soils and rocks collected during surveys by Oeste Engenharia. In my professional work that I developed at Oeste Engenharia, we use excavation and drilling soil survey procedures for soil collection and classification, which are standardized by the Brazilian Association of Technical Standards, ABNT. These soil surveys are performed both for construction work and environmental studies, and its purpose is to identify the soil's geological origin, 
and geotechnical classification, appropriate for each type of work. The samples obtained from the soil surveys are usually collected from a depth ranging from approximately 3 to 115 feet, or 1 to 35 meters, and they are either from the excavation auger or from the lower sampler of the Dreamly Rig. The visual tactile classification of samples is the most widely used geological classification system, mainly due to the ease with which it can be applied in the field. Particle size grading systems are also performed in the laboratory. After the samples are appropriately classified via visual tactile and particle size analysis, they are patched and stored for six months. Typically, those samples are disposed of into the environment. No chemicals are used in this method of soil sampling and classification. Therefore, it is environmentally safe and the samples can be reused in ongoing studies without the risk to human health. In this context, since 2018, OST Ingenieria's soil survey samples have been stored and reused in my art research projects. Thus, avoiding disposing landfills and fulfilling my mission to disseminate soil science through the beauty of its scholars and voicing nature's need to care and protect. Through the researcher and artist Heidi Gustafsson, I got to know the Early Futures Project. And since then, I've been learning, sharing, and discovering a universe of people who are literally connected by our common mother, Mother Earth, and the learning is non-stop. An experimental sustainable business plan called Eco Studio Brasil is beginning to develop as a way to market sustainable products as well as disseminate my work with GeoColors Brazil through the commercialization of soils, mineral pigments, geopens, and others. Eco Studio was born with the responsibility to research, design, and produce sustainable solutions. It prioritizes the use of natural raw materials and reuse of materials, aiming at saving nature and its preservation and conservation. Part of the sale of the products is intended for social educational projects, and we provide our partners and consumers with the possibility of adding their brand to a project where sustainability is the main focus. Equi Studio is a brand and concept of love for nature and sustainable consumption. In addition, I am currently developing a research project for the production of geopaint using resins extracted from Seringueira, or Javia Brasiliensis tree, native to the Amazon, as a binder in the production of geopaints for use in architectural projects, such as wall coverings and buildings. My ultimate quest is for sustainability through the reuse of art and the rescue of value in earth colors and mineral pigments, such as ferruginous earth ochre, iron and magnesium oxides, mixed with natural binders to color sustainable products. My studio and raw material come from nature, an experimental work that unites professional work in engineering, science, and sustainable art. A work that also questions the contrast of the beauty that nature offers us and the degrading environmental impacts that we humans are producing on our planet. Pollution contamination of soil and water resources, and risk to human health caused by the accumulation of contaminants in the environment. For instance, the paintings Meandros Divagantes represent the sinuosities described by the rivers, forming at times white serpentine turns of the watercourses in an area of flat terrains. They portray water bodies, rivers, and streams that need to run clean and free especially in urban areas. They also represent the degradation of ecosystems, the occupation of its banks, forest fires, the destruction of riparian forests exchanged by the black asphalt of cities, which drastically affect and inhibit people's healthy contact with nature. Not to forget the contaminated waters that put ecosystems and people at risk and they are represented in the winding curves of this work. In this slide, 
the art representation of forest fires, loss of biodiversity, drought, and contaminated waters that endanger ecosystem and humans. My art expresses a desire for change, a voice that nature whispers in my ears and that I hope will echo in the sensitive ears of those who are moved by them. Portrayed in these paintings are the earthy color profiles of underground soils and the intricacies of watercourses and forest fires, which is my first and main painting work on canvas and paper. Here, my attempt to rescue the history of ancient art where nature and human beings are connected through natural values, feeling the synergy of the elements and the colors of the Earth's ochre, celebrating the relationship between human beings and nature, a mix of feelings and questions. Finally, my sincere thanks to the event organizers for the opportunity to present the geology and colors of the subsoil in the southeast of my beloved country, Brazil.